Hey everyone, it's Louise here again from Louise Handcrafts and as I promised the other day I was going to make something out of my latest Timu purchase which was a whole lot of beads and string and rings and things for baby teethers and I have made a couple already but I just thought what I'll do is uh, get the ingredients out and we'll make one together. Okay, so we've got two of the wooden rings that came in the other day. I've picked out five of the small wooden beads. We've got those. I've also got five of the hexagonal beads here. And I have five round beads. Takeaway containers are always good for storage, never throw them out. So I've also cut a piece of the string and this is uh, about 80 centimetres, I can't remember, yeah, 80 centimetres and I'm going to double this up. I think it's a little bit thin and I like them really super tight. So I'll grab the other end. And you can thread this through a needle or you can just thread them on by themselves. So you start off with a wooden bead, a hexagonal, and thread them how you like, but the wooden ones um, gives you a good basis to tie your knot in at the end. So I'm just going with what I've got because I ran out of the smaller ones that came in the parcel the other day and so now I'm stuck with um, just these size ones, which is not bad. So, I've got 15 beads in total, which is enough for the teeter. I don't like making them super large because they, um, for me, they're just a little bit too heavy for a baby when they're just that large. Uh, the pink one, another wooden one, no, yes, another wooden one, so what have I got with my colours here, well I want to end with the hexagonal one, so uh, purple, that's all right. And the blue, another wooden. So I might go the hex now and then put this one on the end. So there we go. Uh, now I, what I need to do is put the rings on uh, I'll chop this end off so we need to thread our two rings to even this up through here just give me some tying leverage now reef knots and we're going to pull this as tight as tight as we can left over right right over left And then I'll tie them underneath. 
same thing. Left over right, right over left. Okay, so that's really tight. And this is super strong, so good. And now we need to clip these ends down. Maybe yeah, I should have bought another pair of ends. We need to fray these off, I mean to burn these off to stop them from fraying. And if you bend that there, you can try not to burn the beads. So it's going to leave a nasty mark. And then I'm going to poke this down inside. It's probably not the best thing to do it with, but I'll twist. So we need to hide the knot and we need to hide the ends. So if you poke that into the bead, Safely inside. Voila. There it is. Handles. Oh. Done. And it looks good. So maybe you can make one for yourself. Thanks for watching.